What's up everyone, it's David here. As the title suggests, I've got the Xbox Series X here. And this is obviously identical to the Series S and also the Xbox One and S and X models because the interface is exactly the same. But anyway, Paramount Plus has launched on the Xbox One, One S, X, Series X and Series S in the UK and Northern Ireland. So basically, I'm going to do the walkthrough. So stick around. And before I start this video, I would like to give a big shout out to my sponsors. Nonsense. It's everywhere. Get used to it. Radio, look, I'm glad we got that out of the way. So, as you can see here, we've got a good selection now of apps on the, the Xbox. So we've got Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Paramount+, Plus, Apple TV+, Plus, YouTube, no plus, Prime Video, hit and miss, BBC iPlayer, not bad, ITVX, really good, Channel 4, awesome, but I keep calling it 4OD, and 5 Demand. I think it's still called five demand or it might be called all five i can't remember my five that's it my five so let's get to it shall we shall we shall we the moment you've all waited for the reason why you're watching this video okay i'm gonna click it now okay so you can see the interface right here now there's a couple of issues i'm gonna point them out in, in, in a moment but obviously i'm just gonna quickly just go through that part there uh, don't judge me for what I have watched, but what for I haven't watched. And that is very few because I have watched a lot. Okay, so we're going down here. You can see you've got all the channels, Nickelodeon and all that. Here is South Park. So, eh, hit and miss the new episode on... Uh, it's basically a, a spoof of Prime, but called Cred. It's ridiculous. But you can see here in the background, it's got some bugs because it's got like a double menu over the menu, which is ridiculous. So that's supposed to be in front, but it's actually positioned behind. So I've got the original thumbnails in front of the actual interactive interface. I mean, given the fact that it's taken a year for them to launch a dedicated Paramount Plus app on the Xbox. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Come on. See there, that's what we should be showing right now. But it wasn't because it was behind the thumbnails. Like I said, it's full of bugs. So there's obviously going to be a software update to fix all of this nonsense. So yeah, hopefully they, uh, they resolve it soon. But there's a questionable bunch of stuff that I have so many questions on. The fact that how their algorithm works in order to think that something is related to another program that isn't related to an actual program. And you're going to see in a second, like I'm going to show you. But, you know, you got Tales of King, Star Trek, yeah. Like, it's pretty much Paramount, you know, territory. That was the whole reason why they launched the on-demand service in order to basically get you to watch those kind of shows, you know, because there's a huge cult following on it anyway. There's some stuff not that great, but like I said, there's garbage on Netflix and Disney Plus. A lot of stuff I see on Disney Plus lately. So go on here. So you got what's trending right now. Cred. Like I said, South Park is a bit late to the party on this, you know, whole Prime thing. Because that happened like a month or years ago. Comedy. Last Holiday. Mean Girls? I didn't think Mean Girls was a comedy. I thought it was just mean. Okay. So we got best of 2023. Ah, this is Frozier. Oh, Daphne! Oh, it's not Daphne. We were, I'm just waiting for Daphne to turn up so he can say, Oh, Daphne! Like he normally does. But it's a nice little moment. You know, she has aged like fine wine and cheese. He on the other hand... So I'm just trying to work out Picard and Star Trek Strange New Worlds 
is related to Frasier. I mean, Frasier, the original series, is related to Frasier. And so is Cheers, because Frasier came out of Cheers. Tulsa King, now that's a really good show, but I just don't see how it is related to Kelsey Grammer's Frasier. That makes no sense anyway to me. But anyway, as you can see, there's a few questionable things on this app. Mainly, how it all works. But, like I said, you got to take the good and the bad. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And like always, see you out there.